Hey everybody, Adam here with PTSDanddepression.com. Today I'm going to be going over what I am currently doing to battle my PTSD and depression. Now number one, I'm online journaling about my experiences, whether it's war experiences or experiences of me going through the therapy process. And I'm, I'm writing about once to twice a week or once every two weeks, depending on um, how my mood is. I'm doing various creative art therapy projects. I draw. The writing is ther- very therapeutic. I create stuff. I do a lot of DIY stuff. Um, I walk. I get exercise or bike. Just some sort, some form of uh, daily exercise to keep my mind clear. I'm open about my struggles, and I am doing a fasting regime to keep my head and my thoughts even and steady, which is really great. Uh, Some other things I want to talk about today is just general therapy thoughts, because therapy is incredibly helpful. And one one of the hardest parts about therapy is actually admitting, whether it's to yourself or to someone else, that you need help, and then going to a complete stranger and talking to them. Um, it's it's a very hard thing to do as a man just because, you know, the whole, our entire um, culture says that, uh, you know, going to therapy is kind of a weakness and it's actually not. It's incredible. You, you have to be an incredibly strong person to do that um, because anybody cannot talk about their feelings. It takes, uh, you know, a lot of strength and power to actually be open and talk about this stuff. Um, some of the other things I'm going to talk about today is just going over, um, you know, things that will hopefully help you uh, along in your process. Because there have been a lot of things I have been struggling with, and I wasted a lot of time going to therapy and not even being in therapy. And a lot of that is because of disassociation. Now I will get into what disassociation means for me. It means that I literally have to force my brain to stay inside my body in order for me to feel feelings. Because whenever feelings come up, my brain will just scatter. It just wants to run. And when I was in therapy, when I am in therapy, uh, the first time, it was almost like my brain was a fish caught on a line, and that it did not want to get caught. I, I had to fight with myself just to stay present, and I was shaking. I can't imagine what my, my therapist was thinking, but it was just, it was wild. After I, I forced myself to do it, I can now uh, do it a lot easier and stay present, which is great. Um, but... So, Therapy is extremely painful stuff. And, you know, whatever type of trauma you have, it's it hurts. But I just want to let you guys know that it can get better. I have I have experienced it. I didn't I didn't think that it could get better. But once I I really accepted that, you know what? I'm going to try to get better. I started seeing hope and that's what I want to try to give everyone else that's listening to this I want to give you a a little peek into um, you know what the therapy process is and and let you know that it is possible to heal Uh, the only thing is you have to walk down that path on your own Uh, but that doesn't mean you have to be alone you can find people to love and support you you know give you high fives on the way through your journey so don't don't you know, think you don't have anybody. If you if you feel like you don't have anybody, you need to um, talk to somebody. Leave me a comment on here. I'm more than happy to to chit chat over YouTube. If you if you need more, hell, I'll, I'll give you my phone number if you need it. Um, therapy is incredibly exhausting. Uh, keeping everything inside is it takes an incredible amount of energy, and. It, 
negative thoughts, they just, they suck the life out of you. And I didn't know it until I finally released some of those negative thoughts that I had been holding in, inside. And it, it feels so great. And I want others to feel it. Uh, it is an incredibly slow process, especially when you're resisting the process when you don't even know it. Um, so like things like holding back information from your therapist, not telling them things, um, is really going to hinder your process. Talk therapy for me really didn't work that well because you can control what comes out of your mouth when you're doing talk therapy, which is why I really have, I've really liked and enjoyed the EMDR therapy. By the way, if, if you, you want to know more about any of this stuff, you can just go to my, my uh, website at www.ptsdanddepression.com and you can find all sorts of stories about my military career and I, I record every single therapy session that I go to and I write everything down and I just present it. I don't keep anything out unless I forget it. It's not on purpose, but yeah, so it, it'll, it'll shed light on the therapy process. Um, you know, being open about being depressed or anxious, just mental health in general, it invites other people to share their own issues because everybody has issues. And um, being open to others lets them know that they're not alone and in turn uh, people will reciprocate and let you know that you are not alone. So let's get into some of my EMDR experiences so far. Um, with EMDR, I have found real signs of progress for once, which is, it's hard to say, you know, I'm doing a lot of different stuff, so it's hard to say whether it's just the EMDR therapy, if it's my other therapies, uh, but I feel lighter. All the, these negative memories that I had in the past have, they're not as sharp, they're, it's just, it's like letting go and moving on, and it's it's been a really great process. So I highly recommend that you check out the EMDR experience. I've also done a little bit of inner child work, and that was really great. Um, it's it helped me out a lot. I actually have been able to use some of the tools that I learned from my inner child work on just some of my memories in the past. I, I, I'm not really going to get into it, but if you want to look at inner child work, I would highly recommend it. It's, it's just another tool to have, and these tools are just ways to um, help you get through um, your journey to healing, basically. So I just wanted to add this this short little video. It's not that short, but um, yeah, I just wanted to, you know point some stuff out so all right ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching this is adam with ptsd and depression.com and i'm out now i will get into what disassociation means for me it means that i literally have to force my brain to stay inside my body in order for me to feel feelings because whenever feelings come up my brain will just scatter. It just wants to run. And when I was in therapy, when I am in therapy, uh, the first time, it was almost like my brain was a fish caught on a line. And that, it did not want to get caught. I, I had to fight with myself just to stay present. And I was shaking. I can't imagine what my, my therapist was thinking. But it was just... It was wild. After I, I forced myself to do it, I can now uh, do it a lot easier and stay present, which is great. Um, but so, therapy is extremely painful stuff. And, you know, whatever type of trauma you have, it's it hurts. But I just want to let you guys know that it can get better. I have, I have experienced it. I didn't... I didn't think that it could get better, but once I, I really accepted that, you know what, I'm going to try to get better, I started seeing hope, and that's what I want to try to give everyone else that's listening to this. I want to give you a, a little peek into um, you know, what the therapy process is and, and let you know that it is possible to heal. Uh, the only thing is you have to walk down that path on your own. 
Uh, but that doesn't mean you have to be alone. You can find people to love and support you, you know, give you high fives on the way through your journey. So don't, don't, you know, think you don't have anybody. If you, if you feel like you don't have anybody you need to um, talk to somebody, leave me a comment on here. I'm more than happy to, to chit chat over YouTube. If you, if you need more, hell, I'll, I'll give you my phone number if you need it. Um, therapy is incredibly exhausting. Uh, keeping everything inside is, it takes an incredible amount of energy and negative thoughts they just they suck the life out of you and i didn't know it until i finally released some of those negative thoughts that i had been holding in, inside and it it feels so great and i want others to feel it uh it is an incredibly slow process especially when you're resisting the process when you don't even know it um so like things like holding back information from your therapist not telling them things um, is really going to hinder your process talk therapy for me really didn't work that well because you can control what comes out of your mouth when you're doing talk therapy which is why i really have i've really liked and enjoyed the emdr therapy by the way if, if you you want to know more about any of this stuff you can just go to my my uh, website at www.ptsdanddepression.com and you can find all sorts of stories about my military career and I, I record every single therapy session that I go to and I write everything down and I just present it. I don't keep anything out unless I forget it. It's not on purpose, but yeah, so it, it'll, it'll shed light on the therapy process. Um, you know, being open about being depressed or anxious, just mental health in general, it invites other people to share their own issues because everybody has issues. And um, being open to others lets them know that they're not alone and in turn uh, people will reciprocate and let you know that you are not alone. So let's get into some of my EMDR experiences so far. Um, with EMDR... I have found real signs of progress for once, which is, it's hard to say, you know, I'm doing a lot of different stuff, so it's hard to say whether it's just the EMDR therapy, if it's my other therapies, uh, but I feel lighter. All the, these negative memories that I had in the past have, they're not as sharp there. It's just, it's like letting go and moving on and it's it's been a really great process so i highly recommend that you check out the emdr experience i've also done a little bit of inner child work and that was really great um it's it helped me out a lot i actually have been able to use some of the tools that i learned from my inner child work on just some of my memories in the past I, I, I'm not really going to get into it, but if you want to look at inner child work, I would highly recommend it. It's, it's just another tool to have, and these tools are just ways to um, help you get through um, your journey to healing, basically. So I just wanted to add this this short little video. It's not that short, but um, yeah, I just wanted to, to you know, point some stuff out. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. This is Adam with PTSD and depression.com and I'm out.